All right, here we're looking at the uh, regression data copier sales. It's uh, the template that's available within uh, Blackboard. And if you look at the tabs down at the bottom, you'll notice there's a working tab, a solve tab, and then there's the one uh, with data analysis. Now, when you're working with the working tab, I'm going to go over creating most of the formulas here. But if you look at the solve tab, if you're doing this on your own, uh, you'll actually see how to actually do it using Excel. So we're going to do a regression. We're going to compute the R. We're going to compute the slope. Um, and the intercept all uh, manually the way the book shows us and then we'll get into the data analysis. So the first thing we have to do is compute the mean and I'm just going to go ahead and use the average function to compute the mean for each of these. I'm just going to copy that over. All right, the next thing we have to do is compute the standard deviation and this is the standard deviation for the sample. So I'm going to use the stdev.s function. use the same values. Again, I'm going to copy that over. All right, now the next column that I need to compute here is the x minus x bar. We've done this before, but I'm going to go ahead and take the value of x and I'm going to subtract the mean x bar, but I'm going to add the f4 or the dollar signs here to make this an absolutely referenced cell so that I can copy it. Then I can go ahead and copy this all the way down. I'm going to do the same thing for my y minus y bar. Still I'm going to use the dollar signs for absolute reference and once again I'm going to copy it all the way down. And then I'm going to multiply the x minus x bar times the y minus y bar. And, of course, I want to sum that at the end, so I end up with a sum of 900. So now that I have the mean, the standard deviation, and the sum, I also know what n is, n is 10, I can actually compute the r. So the r, to compute the r, is the sum of x minus x bar times y minus y bar, or the 900 in this case. Okay, so I'm going to start the formula again here, equals put that in parentheses here, go ahead and click on the 900, alrighty, and then I'm going to divide that by n minus 1, which is 9, times the standard deviation of x times the standard deviation of y, and I'm going to put a parenthesis here, and move that parenthesis here and I end up then with an R computed R of 0.75 so we're in pretty good shape here the next step is we could compute the T then once we have the T um, we could uh, then go ahead and compute the B the slope and the intercept and then the regression and uh, go ahead and do this on your own it's a very 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 easy formulas again if you need some help just go over here to the solved and you can see uh, the formulas that I've used to uh, compute the exact same things. But I wanted to show you the data analysis and show you how simple that is here. So this is the end result. Now I'm going to go ahead and first erase this so that you don't see it and uh, you'll end up seeing how I actually did it here. Uh, you do have it completed but you'll be able to complete it on your own if you want. So it's important to understand the difference between the X and the Y. Remember the Y is what we're trying to predict and the X is the independent variable. So we have the dependent variable and the independent variable. So we're going to use data analysis. So I'll go to data, data analysis, and I'm going to use the regression feature. All right, the first thing it wants is the y's. So I'm going to highlight the range of y's, and then it wants the x's. I'm going to highlight the x's. And again, we're trying to see, is there a relationship here? I'm going to go ahead and choose an output range. I'm going to go ahead and put it right back where it was a minute ago here. So that's pretty much all I need to do. I go ahead and click OK and here we have the end result here. We have the R of 7.9, so excuse me, 0.759 which is exactly what we had over here. We also have the regression equation. The intercept or the A in this case is 18.94 and the slope is 1.18. So then we can predict using the regression equation what a value of y would be based on a value of x. So you can see it's really pretty simple uh, to use Excel 
to compute all of these formulas. And uh, if you need help, just uh, look at that solved worksheet and that should be able to give you all the information that you need.